Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another Dubai vlog. I am just about to head to the beach, but I'm going to a different beach today. I've been going to JBR Beach for the past like whole week. <laughs> But today I'm going to a different one. Let me just check. I can't remember what it's called. It's not useful, is it, Mia? Okay, so it's called West Beach and it is on the Palm. That is where I'm going to spend my day. I'm going to take my laptop with me and just chill there for the day, to be honest. I'm going for dinner out on the Palm tonight as well, actually. But that is later at, like, 9.30. And obviously I want to, like get dressed and get ready and stuff so i will come back here and then go all the way back to the palm later on <laughs> but yeah that's what we're doing today i'm gonna show you my bikini so this one is from plt and i thought it was just like beach vibes you know with the wood <laughs> but i've packed my bag got my laptop my headphones my book tripod hat do you know what i have no shame whipping my tripod out on the beach you know You've got to do what you've got to do on a solo trip, I think. And guys, also, if you are solo travelling, or if you just like, maybe you just live solo or whatever, this is the best thing ever. So I got this off Amazon, and it is like a picture taker, and you just connect it to your Bluetooth, like you just turn it on on the side and connect it to your phone, and you just click this, and it takes pictures. That's how I've been taking mine, and lifesaver. Tripod and that, unbeatable combo. But yeah, tomorrow is also going to be the first day that I'm going to the gym. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, I'm actually so excited. I'm going to attempt, well, I'm going out for dinner at 9.30. So maybe I won't wake up really early. But I do want to go quite early in the morning. But I'm going to take you guys along. Of course, I'm going to go to Banus. And yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. But I'm more excited than anything. now i found a bed i found a little not really beach club but it's kind of kind of like a beach club and i'm literally just on the front by the water such a nice view that's the whole view of like the whole marina so nice i'm all ready to go out for dinner sorry i've not really vlogged too much today i have honestly not really been up to much i went to that beach club and literally was sat there for about seven hours so there just wasn't really much to document i also made a new friend she's so exciting she was so cute and so lovely but this is tonight's fit so it's pretty casual this top is from zara and these pants are from stradivarius so guys look at this coordination look at my clip how cute is that but I'm going for dinner at Beach by Five tonight, so it is at the Five Palm Hotel. And really exciting. I've literally just been snacking on <laughs> these before I've been because it's 9.30 nearly. So it's a pretty late dinner. But yeah, I'm going to head off and I will see you tomorrow when we go to the gym. <laughs> Alright guys, today is gym day. I'm so excited. I've literally just packed my bags. Here is today's gym fit. So I've got black strappy timeless bralette and then we've got cool effortless shorts effortless restock coming very soon by the way i'm not sure on an exact date but it is this month so keep an eye out and there's going to be more stock than ever so hopefully fingers crossed things won't actually sell out which is really really exciting but yeah i'm gonna be going to banus this morning for the first time ever and i'm so excited i'll put a little bit of makeup on you know just make it good first impression and yeah i wear makeup to the gym sometimes there's absolutely not a problem with it if you've got a problem with it then get a life i honestly just don't understand those people that like mostly men to be honest not trying to single people out here but men just seem to have such a huge problem with girls wearing makeup to the gym like why is it your problem just focus on yourself you know girls can wear makeup to the gym if they want to wear makeup to the gym look good feel good is the motto for this year i feel more confident sometimes with a little bit of makeup on so we're just going to roll with it don't feel self-conscious if you wear makeup to the gym do absolutely whatever you want wear makeup to the gym or don't wear makeup to the gym just do whatever you want but yeah i'm obviously going to be kickstarting off the sessions with glutes i'm going to try and stick to my normal split starting from now on my goal is to go almost every day 
for the next three weeks which I'm so excited for because I feel like it's just gonna add sort of structure to my routine obviously like at home and I feel like as soon as I'm I start training this week the weeks are gonna like fly by I feel like um because I feel like this week has gone really quick but it's also gone quite slow as well because I've not actually really been doing much I've literally just been relaxing so <laughs> I feel like once I have some actual structure and everything like that it'll start flying by but yeah enough chitter chatter let's go to the gym also guys this is how dedicated i am to taking my supplements look at this i literally look like i was smuggling in some sort of substance <laughs> but i packaged up my pride and my creatine just because the tubs were too big and honestly as i said i literally could not fit another morsel in my suitcase and like you guys know if you've got the supplements that like the tubs from EHP are quite like big. I did manage to bring this tub, but I feel like the OxyShred tubs are quite small. So this is the only OxyShred flavor I've got. And then I've packed my favorite flavor of Pride in here, which is Fantasy Soda and also my creatine. So I'm gonna mix up a concoction once I get to the gym. look at these cars all right guys i am back from the gym 
please ignore my peeling here and um, but that was honestly insane like it was so good but I did just want to talk about something because I feel like it's not really talked about on social media but going into that gym like in that uber I was so nervous like I was I don't suffer with like anxiety or anything like that thankfully very thankfully however I just felt so anxious I felt so nervous just like so nervous and anxious and like I had butterflies and I feel like it's not spoken about enough that it is so normal to feel like so intimidated and anxious heading into a new gym especially just heading into new places in general I feel like but I feel like gyms are a big like place that you'd feel much more intimidated just obviously because the kind of vibe that it is the kind of people that are in there especially in a gym like that Benus is basically like notorious for like having the most like the best like bodybuilders in there like best competitors and things like that in that gym so heading in there I was very intimidated and feeling very anxious but I just tried to push it aside. I put my headphones on, my noise cancelling on, listened to my music, and honestly, I did. So, Benus is like really, really big if you've ever been before. I think there's like five different, like, whole massive rooms that like have different kind of machines and stuff. So, there was like a full leg room, which is most of the room that I stayed in. But then there's also like an upper body one and then there's like an outside bit and then there's just a bit of everything bit. Um, but my advice to you, if you are maybe joining a new gym or you're just going to a new gym as a one-off, um, just like scope out your surroundings. Like you don't, nobody's judging you for looking around first. I feel like it's completely understandable in a place like that and I feel like you need to get your bearings first because there's no point just completely acting like you know what you're doing because then you're going to just find yourself kind of like fumbling around the gym, you don't know where to kind of go and it just ends up taking so much longer than anticipated so I highly recommend just like going around, just looking at everything first, just having a walk around that is what I did with my music on. I was just like trying not to look at anyone. But yeah, I just want to be here to tell you that even me, like an influencer, you might call it, I hate that word. But yeah, even I get anxious going into a gym and feel nervous. So if you do as well, it is completely normal. I feel like it is literally just human nature to feel like that around that kind of space. And yeah. I'm just here to tell you that it's completely normal and that I don't really think it's spoken about that much online and let's normalize it because I was thinking in my head like surely does everybody else feel like this coming into this gym <laughs> but no what I feel like because I've obviously not trained the whole first week that I was here I feel like I'd kind of built up this like anxiety towards breaking the ice and going into my first session over here um, and I'm so glad that I've done the first session because now I feel so so motivated to like actually get into my split just get into training hard over here because I feel like because it is such well even though it is such an intimidating space it is very motivating as well having kind of people like that in the gym can be very motivating and they usually look really scary but 99% of the time they're very nice so yeah I feel like I've just broken the ice with that session and I'm excited to carry on my split. I'm not going to be just sticking to Banus the whole time that I'm here. I think I'm going to be going to Train Beach Club tomorrow. And yeah, I'm just going to be kind of switching around things. But I will be going to Banus quite often. Just not for every single time. I just want to try as many gyms over here as I possibly can. But <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to break the ice with the most intimidating one. <laughs> Go big or go home. <laughs> yeah, it was so sick. I had to start off my sessions and my split with glutes and hamstrings. I honestly, you might have been able to tell that it was a little bit mismatched. I was honestly just kind of trying to go on any equipment that I recognise because so much of the equipment there was like foreign to me. I was looking at it, I was like, I don't know what that is absolutely no idea and I'm not even gonna try I'm not gonna make myself look like a dick <laughs> so I just kind of tried to spot out machines and stuff that I knew what they did because <laughs> there's so much equipment in that gym like 
endless amounts of equipment that do things that I've never even seen before. So I just stuck to my roots, not doing anything crazy. I did make myself look like a tit a few times because <laughs> I went on the standing hamstring curl thing, you will have seen me do it, but I've never really used that machine before. They had one at JD, but it was a little bit different, and I basically just did it completely wrong. I'd done two sets completely wrong, and then <laughs> I, I, I was like thinking to myself like, oh, that's how you do it, and it kind of clicked in my mind. So I did basically the whole thing the wrong way, and then I did my last set correctly, but you know what, who cares? It is what it is, I feel like you've got to prepare to fail and fail to prepare. <laughs> but yeah, the rest of my day is gonna consist of a lot of editing, I think. I might find a cute little space to go on my laptop, but I will take you along tomorrow as well to Train Beach Club. Apparently on Tuesdays, it's free at Train Beach Club. So it was also free today because apparently, I don't know if this is every single week, but behind the tail, she was like, uh, ladies go free Monday to Wednesday. I was like, okay. What's say no to that? So that was sick because Banus is very expensive. I think for a day pass, it's about 60 pounds, which is absolutely obscene. Daylight robbery, if you ask me, but got it free, so <laughs> can't complain. But yeah, I'm gonna end this little rant. It wasn't really a rant, but I just wanted to normalize that topic because as I said, I feel like it's not spoken about enough on socials, but yeah, I am gonna head to do some work. Don't really know where to go, but I'll take you along. really cute little like brunch spot lunch spot and i'm currently on a hot girl podcast walk i'm actually gonna wait for the sun to set i think i don't think i'll be able to fully watch it just because i do need to get back to get ready for dinner however it's not as hot now because it's like five o'clock now so it's a little bit nicer and i'm just listening to the diary of a ceo i'm listening to the podcast with Miley Cyrus's and Justin Bieber's doctor and therapist. It's quite interesting. So that's what I'm gonna do for the next little while. All right guys, I didn't actually film a clip before I trained this morning, so I thought that I would do it after and then I'm gonna insert it before. So this is me after, however you'll be seeing this before the workout. But I trained at Train Beach Club today and I loved it. So I woke up at 6.30 because I'm gonna start getting into the habit of waking up early and I woke up at 6.30, went to the gym and sunbathed because it's Train Beach Club, so it's a beach club as well. Um, had a little post-workout meal and a green juice and just sunbathed to be honest and now I am back but loved the vibes in there it was so good and especially early on because it did get really busy um like afternoon time so i'm glad i went early but yeah i hope you enjoy the workout
it's me again i hope you guys enjoyed that workout it was really good i'm sorry for the shocking angles on some of the videos i didn't have too much space but guys when i was at the beach club i was in close proximity to mike thurston it was so cool anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i am gonna leave it there because this was kind of like a train with me video and i want this to be up tomorrow i'm gonna be training all week so i will film it for sunday's video but i'm gonna end this video here i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you look forward to sunday's video bye